welcome back to another tutorial. It is your hostess here, Sarah Michaels. And in this video, I want to show you how to manually enroll a student into your Teachable course. Now, as you know, Teachable is the course platform that I'm currently using and recommending for myself, my students, my clients. Um, I tested out the other platforms, and when I say that, I mean it, I did all the other things and Teachable is honestly what I'm using and recommending. And um, if you, so if you don't already have Teachable, <laughs> if you click the link down below and you enroll through my link, I'm also gonna send you the Teachable Secrets. It's not really a secret, but it's just my training and tutorials. So you get that when you use my link to sign up, okay? so. Okie dokie, there is that. You can also purchase the course separately, by the way. So anyways, so what I wanna show you is how to do this. So you're looking at all of the behind the scenes into my courses right now. Now, you may need to manually enroll students if someone checked out on your website. Um, for example, my course funnel is hosted on ClickFunnels. I am obsessed with ClickFunnels, y'all. Oh my gosh. And if you haven't already and you want to learn how to build a funnel for your course, join me uh, with ClickFunnels. I'm hosting free challenges. Um, you do still have to pay for the actual like ClickFunnels challenge, but I will be offering free support. So if you're like, yay, I have a course, but now what do I do? And how do I drive traffic to my course and turn my course into a money-making machine that mints, you know, recurring revenue? Like, how do I do that? So that's a lot of information. So anyway, so long story short, I'm using ClickFunnels. So when someone checks out on ClickFunnel platform, my assistant has to manually go in and enroll that new student into my Teachable platform. Okay, so this is what we do. So we go in. So the two things that you're going to have to have are number one, you're going to have to OMFG, you bought me flowers. I'm on live. Oh my God, look at my husband and my sweet, sweet son. Giant flowers. Oh, you guys, get in here. I love you. I love you. Mm, I love you. I didn't know which one you like more. Oh, look at this. you guys I are going to make me cry. I these things to attract the fish. Very cool. Right, you guys right, are getting, <laughs> these are gorgeous. Okay, I forgot what I was saying. I'm just gonna leave this in here, by the way, because these are so sweet. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay. Anyways, a little a little side note here: don't settle ever because the right one is worth the wait. So okay. So if you've manually, if someone, if ugh, I can't even think because I'm so over overblown here. <laughs> but if you had a student that checked out somewhere else, go onto your Teachable dashboard. That's what it is. You have to have your student's name and email. Okay, so you need that information. Um, oftentimes, it's collected in a spreadsheet. I can't show you because I don't want to show you people's emails, but it's in a spreadsheet. Okay, so you can download that information. When and if you get to the point where you're making money and you can have an assistant, yay, send that information to your assistant, open up your Teachable dashboard, okay? And you can either add in an entirely new user, which you can do by clicking on the add a student button. And this is where you can either import or manually add them. Okay, so whichever one's easiest for you, importing is kind of a nice feature. If you don't have that, you don't know how to do that, we'll do that in an advanced training. So right now, if you just have a couple, you can manually enroll them. Name, email, don't put a password in there. I don't anyways. Confirm, confirm, and then click import. Okay, so then what you can do is click on your student. And if you want to manually enroll them in a specific course, you can either click on that course or you can click on the student. Okay, so this is the users, students, and then from there you click the individual student. When you click on the enrollments tab, then there's a drop down menu. So for example, my Spark 14 Day Influence Accelerator, which by the way, this is the exact method that I use for my own personal one-on-one -on -one clients that has netted one of our clients over $3,000 in less than 12 weeks. 
by using this exact method that I'm teaching in the course, it's amazeballs. So that is something to consider also if you're like, what kind of courses? I want to take all her courses. What can I do? The Spark Influence Accelerator would be the place to start. So that is how, there you go, my friends. That's how you add in a user. And I'll show you then. If you go into the course, let's say I go into What the Tech, um, and I look at students, that it'll show me the students. And you can also add students manually in there as well. So there's a couple different ways to manually enroll students into your Teachable course. I hope this was helpful. If you are watching this video on YouTube, remember to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Uh, be sure to click subscribe and the little notification. On my YouTube channel, I'm giving away all sorts of free training uh, resources and stuff like that for your mindset, building your online business, and creating life by design. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I got to go put these in some water. <laughs>